Hey guys, welcome back to program and today in this episode, we're going to talk about the best laptop that you can use as a YouTuber and for a traveling video vlogger. So if you're a person who travels often, very often and needs a machine for video editing onto the go. So guys, today in this episode, we'll be talking about the two MacBooks. One is the MacBook Air that comes with M1 processor and the other one is a MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor. So currently we have both of the machines. One is a 13 inch model and the other one is a 16 inch model. So what would I prefer to go along with if I am a YouTuber and if I'm constantly traveling and I need a machine on the go for video editing. So let's get into it. So guys, since the time we have purchased both of the machines, we have tried to use both of the machines for video editing using Final Cut Pro. So that is one of the most easiest and fastest software that we can get in any of the macbooks and especially final cut pro is completely optimized for the new macbooks with the apple silicon processor so in any of the macbooks with the apple silicon processor you can get a great performance for final cut pro so if you are using it for video editing onto the go as well so on the battery life you can get a great performance so you can easily edit at least three to four videos on the go using the just battery life without charging the machines as well so now what would i choose now firstly let us get into the talk so this machine that is the macbook air with the m1 processor this weighs just around 1.3 kg so that's a really lightweight machine on the contrary to that we have the 16 inch macbook pro with the m1 pro processor that weighs around 2.1 kg so this is a little bit onto the heavier side as well as it's a little bit bulky as compared to the macbook air with the m1 processor but it has got more performance almost double the performance than as compared to the macbook air with the m1 processor but when you are a video editor and you are a youtuber and you just need to edit videos vlogs on the go so at that very moment one thing that i do consider is portability so this machine is really portable enough. So this weighs just around 1.3 kgs. I can just keep this in my bag and I'll not even know that I'm carrying in such a powerful machine inside my bag and I can open it anywhere. I can very easily edit videos. It has got a good display, good brightness and good performance. Even the base model version, it serves really well for me, at least for my creation, for the reason and the purpose of why I use a MacBook. For that, it serves really well. As compared to the rendering times, obviously there's a twice difference at the very minimum. So if um, the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor is rendering a video in two minutes, this is gonna take around three, three and a half minutes or sometimes also four minutes. So there's at least half of the time difference when compared to the rendering performance. But there's absolutely no issues. I can edit videos, 4K resolution videos, two to three streamlines at to one moment of time in the macbook air with the m1 processor and if i need something more performing something more efficient so i can just just switch this up to 16 gigabytes of ram but the 8 gigabytes of ram model even serves really well for me so for my task for my utilization on we go macbook air with the m1 processor serves really well and it is one of the by far one of the best machine what I can carry around anywhere along with me for video editing for different tasks like web development for another task like uh, just documentation works web browsing and everything can be done very easily on this machine and the best part of this machine is that it's really light and it's really portable on the contrary if I talk about this machine now this is one of my favorite machine right now no, my favorite macbooks so if i consider for 2021 my favorite laptops would be the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor that's in 16 inch the reason for that is firstly it has got a very much great display the display is really immersive and it just provides a next level of an experience when we are trying to edit and video as well as the size is actually really good as compared to 13 inch it has got 16 inch display and that's and a lot of amount of space when considering video editing so in this we need to just push the timelines here and there often very often but on this 
we can just stay at, at to one place while video editing and this serves really well the other thing that i really like about this machine is the performance and the stability of thermals so on this machine whenever you're trying to video render as well thermals are really silent so and the machine stays really cool we haven't seen any kind of an heating issues into the machine so it is a really beast performing machine and as well as along with video editing or rendering i can also perform some different tasks like if i'm trying to work onto a project i can work on that very easily if I, even if i'm trying to edit another video at to the time of video rendering that can be done also really great that can be also done really quickly over here as compared to the macbook pro as compared to the macbook air with the m1 processor on this machine we cannot actually try to edit another video when a video is already rendering we can do try to do that but there would be some lags and some issues into the performance and so we do not try to do that over here because this has got a limited number of GPU, so there's in the 7 core of a GPU as compared to the 16 cores of a GPU, as well as the performance cores are just double on the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor. So that's the reason why this machine is a really great machine, but when compared for traveling purpose. So the one machine that I do choose at every moment of time is the MacBook Air with the M1 processor. And if you're a YouTuber or a content creator just like me and you want a machine for traveling, so if you're, if you're traveling continuously from one place to another and you need a machine that can be easily carried from one place to another and you can just keep that in your bag and without adding much amount of a load as well as the charger, you can just compare the charger weight as well because the charger that you get along with the MacBook Air M1 is really light as compared to the bulky charger that we get along with the macbook pro with the m1 pro so i do not conceive that as bulky by the way because there are even some charges that are more bulkier than what we get along with the macbook pro with the m1 pro but just as to the weight side this is a little bit more as compared to the m1 so that's the reason why i would consider this machine as one of the best performing machines for any of the youtubers and if you're into this dilemma or doubt that which machine should you switch to or go along with if you're a YouTuber and you need for video editing, so the clear option, the clear choice that I would recommend to you is to go along with the MacBook Air with the M1 processor. And the best thing that you can do here is try to upgrade the machine to 16 gigabytes of RAM along with 512 gigabytes of storage that will give you enough space for just keeping the files inside your laptop along with providing much more faster performance for video editing and all other tasks. So that would be my final recommendation for you. And if you like, our video please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel meet you next episode till then goodbye